With the economy as tight as it is, a lot of dads might find it hard to spend that quality time with their kids. Absolutely. Joining us this morning is author Tom Watson to talk about how to be a better dad in these trying times. Tom, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Reading your book, Man Shoes, The Journey to Become... a better man, a husband, and a father. I've read a couple chapters of it so far. It's really an amazing story of where you started from. Yeah, you know, I, I went through 13 foster homes, so uh, by the age of five, I was uh, coming into the Watsons, who were my 13th foster home, and, and they're the ones that actually took me in it in their 60s and raised me, so yeah. it was... It's amazing to think 13 foster homes in under five years. You know, it is amazing, but one thing we need to realize in North America, there's, uh, you know, the average child goes through about 17 foster homes. Once you're in the foster system, you go through about 17 wow. foster homes. So wow. it's, it's actually, I was actually lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up to age 18, you mean, when yeah, they finally yeah. become an adult. Yeah. Let's talk about this economy and for fathers. What do you think is like the most trying thing for fathers right now? Well, we've always struggled being dads. And with the economy the way it is and you know us uh, really struggling to to keep our our work and and the the workplace is such a, a global thing now so we we're traveling farther for work and and uh, our wives are working and having to work maybe we're working double jobs and it's really stressing us at home and trying to maintain that balance between home life and father as a father and and also be that professional and bring home some money to keep things going. It's it's a difficult task right now. Right. It's a time crunch as it's much as anything else. Right? It really is a time crunch. So, yeah. You think that the fathers they have that kind of stress on them if they're especially if they're out of work right now. And mm -hmm. does that translate to the children? Oh, definitely. It translates to your spouse uh, because we're taking on roles that maybe we we just aren't used to. You know, maybe you're going to work and I'm staying at home, mm -hmm. and that's not a traditional role for us. And it 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 all translates down to our children. So it is a, it, it's a struggle as couples, as men, as women. It's a struggle. In a sense, the bar's kind of been raised for dads. You know, when I was growing up in the mm -hmm. '70s, dad just needed to you know have a good job, <laughs> yeah. uh, right. show up for yeah. dinner, yeah. and maybe take you out to the ball game or something. Yeah. Stay out of the bars. Yeah, yeah. stay out of the bars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, of course, it, your dads are expected to do rightly yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Well, and I think it's a good thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, the reality of it is, is that uh, many of us were detached from our our fathers, and uh, so we need to be more interactive with our children. We need to be more intimate with our our spouses and uh, create this home life that's actually going to be uh, the skyrocket to our our success as uh, career men. So I know you can't tell us the secret of life and how to do that all in this segment, but give us a few tips. Well, I think one of them is, uh, you know, to really be there for y your family. So schedule in some time. Uh, you know, that sounds counter and counterproductive or, you know, you know. I'm not making money with that time. No. Right. <laughs> you know, but that's making but, a relationship. But you are building those relationships. So schedule time and be there in mind and in body. One of the things that we tend to do is we're always thinking about where we could have been or we should be and, mm -hmm. and uh, so be there in mind and body. So I think those are very key things. The other one that I would say is you don't have to have these huge events. Uh, sometimes we build these huge events. We take people off, you know, our families off on ho big holidays and all this kind of stuff. Our family just wants us to be there. And uh, when money's a problem, uh, you know, going to Mexico might not be the right thing to be doing right now, although we feel guilty enough that we haven't been at home, so that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So in the end, what I would say is uh, schedule some home time, do some stay vacations, be there for your family, and, and those things will really help build your home life, which in the end, as I talk about in the book, is uh, the opportunity to build your home life is the opportunity to build your cre career or rebuild your career and be successful on both sides of the equation. And be happy. Be uh -huh. happy. And balance. It is great. Yeah. All right, so we have some books to give away, too, and I'm, I'm very excited about uh, being able to finish this off and read it. We've got three books to give away to any real Milwaukee viewer. This is what you need to do. Email us at chuck at realmilwaukeenow.com, and it's a great read. And they're signed. And they're signed. He's very personal. Very valuable. Tom, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming in.